Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, I just want you guys to know that this is all in good fun. I'm not being super serious if I make fun of your car. So please don't take it super personal. Um, if you like this kind of video, please let me know if you like it and I'll make more. Um, also, please subscribe to this if you're watching it. I've only got like 200 subscribers and I really try, I'm really trying to get to 1,000. So if, if you could do that, I appreciate it. Thanks guys. What's up boys and girls, this is Revival GT. So I posted on Facebook, I asked a few of my local car groups to share their cars so I could either review them or check them. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is just a few that I've gone ahead and saved. On to the first one. So uh, let's hope we got somebody who doesn't know how to take pictures of, um, of a car. It looks like the car is driving up a cliff but we got a stock Mustang, you know, it's not a whole lot going on. It's, you know, it looks nice. Next up, we have this here. What are you? What are you? Is that, does that say RS? Oh, oh, it's SS. Okay. I see, I see the SS. Unless that says RS. If that says RS and that says SS, me and you are going to have a problem. But I don't think it is because, I mean, yeah, we got 62 Rudy. <clears throat> 62 Rudy on the car it's when you want everybody to know uh who's driving the driving the car unless the car's name is rudy i don't know um we got the little transformers thing that's original we got the black plasti dip wheels i think we got black plasti dip wheels boys you know I, I do like these cars even though this is a flop gen but uh you know they sound good you know throw some exhaust on them they got some little pops and stuff and you know they're, they're fairly quick for what they are you know what i know who posted this picture and I just want to say, I'm glad that this is more reliable than your car. I'm glad that you can keep something running properly. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I keep having to clear my throat. I just ate McDonald's. We have a blacked out luxury Dodge Charger here. This, this is like luxury for poor people right here. Uh, other than that, I mean, the blacked out look, I mean, it's, it's kind of, kind of outdated but it's you know it's not terrible it looks all right oh we got my boy jewel jewel williams it's in the golden jewel we got the golden jewel here see we have dope content nice nice races we have some nice races slide shows you know i saw a um i saw a documentary that vice did and they called them uh side shows like there was no l in it and i thought it was really funny um <laughs> it's a custom builds this is very custom new mods reactions and car show events cool cool of course you know i love you buddy we need to get more stuff done to your car bro ham <laughs> we got to and then obviously yeah we got the we got the big old youtube the golden jewel banner up here not gonna say a lot on that because i love you um we have someone else who doesn't know how to take pictures of their car this one looks like it's driving down a cliff and, and it's another stock mustang what is up with you guys <laughs> jesus christ take landscape photos boys and girls it's not that hard. Just turn your phone, rotate your phone 90 degrees and you'll be okay. But yeah, not, not a whole lot going on again. You know, just stock, at least it's stock looking from the outside. It doesn't look lower. It looks like we've got stock wheels. Next, um, I don't talk to infinity drivers. Next, we have what looks like the eBay version of my old car. I had a, um, I had a two valve that I had the Cobra front bumper and, you know, had a little drag set up on it. This looked like they might be drag drag tires I, I can't really tell um see we if, if they're just mismatched and those are not drags you got problems there but um i got the cow hood on it. it's not painted yet but that's fine it looks uh this thing's gonna look really good once everything is the same color next up <clears throat> set a what's that like a c4 corvette those are cool man I, I i really wish that there were more of those running around i wouldn't mind having one of those as a project car or something i, I think they're a good platform and you know they got the the nice like 80s 90s styling on the inside i'm kind of on a on a kick like that right now so i'm digging it i'm digging it not a huge fan of the square tips or the, the rectangle tips do these cars come with these is that what they came with in fact i don't know regardless yeah overall not bad not bad even though you also don't know how to take a picture of your car 
Don P. Red Key. I can't really say anything bad about this because um, your car is worth more than my house. So, let's see, we also have dope content. Nice races. <laughs> oh, you, oh man, you got the same thing as, as Jewel. Okay, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, love your car though. We just need to get, get more stuff done until we get, see, see this right here, this little, this little gap right here. We gotta get rid of that. We gotta get rid of that. I don't talk to infinity drivers. This is, um, this is the Memphis special even though it is still a really cool car it seems like everybody in memphis wants a mopar not really sure why but um you know they're they're cool you know my wife's got one hers is just an rt which is okay but yeah this is um this is nice looking I, I like this it's very clean it's very um very well put together and what do we got here what do we have here um are you trying to make your car look like pikachu bro What's up with the yellow mirrors? We got a little yellow coyote badge. I've actually got one of those badges on my car, except it's not yellow. By the way, if that uh, if that the clear coat on that thing ever starts to fade off, just just chip it off with a chisel. That's what I did. A lot of those things have really bad clear on them. Can't really see the wheels. They don't look stock. I'm not sure, but I'm digging the what was that the Eleanor hood? I'm digging that. I actually like that style a lot. Next up, um. Okay, so I got a tail light and a bumper. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I'm assuming it's some kind of Subaru. Oh, yep, I see a little U. I see a little U for Subaru on here. Can't tell if it's on a lift or a dyno. Probably a lift, because more of these cars go on a lift than a dyno. Okay. So this is cool. We got a little race truck here. You know, if this pulled up next to me at a light, I would uh, probably just turn my car off and um just wait for him to go because i'm not trying to mess with it this is let's see we got we, we got some gauges let's see we got it's probably like a tack and something else i don't know what else is in here probably like a big ass oil pressure gauge um but yeah that's really cool i'm digging that i like it and we got the sn95 like a 90 like 495 i think what is this i can't tell if that's a is that a 50 yeah, it's five. Yeah, we got a little three. Got a little three o two on here. Um, yeah, it's clean. It's definitely clean. You don't see a lot of these cars running around anymore that uh, have decent paint on them. Looks like this car might have been repainted at one point or something. But it's clean. Not a huge fan of the, the little side decals there, but the rest of the car looks good. You got some nice, nice little SVE wheels. Some some LMR brand wheels on here, which is nothing wrong with that. Needs a little bit more low, but it looks like it's already lowered for sure. So not not bad. Not bad. Okay, we got somebody else that doesn't know how to take a picture of the car. Good things come to those who wait. Sir, I hope you did not wait long for this. Because if you did, it wasn't worth it. Mm. Nice valve covers, though. Bruh. Your car broke my damn computer. So this... Okay okay a little ctsv all right i'm digging this this looks like it's over at a flawless reflections place it's like you got a got a little ceramic coating action going on which is super nice you know this is what i feel like a lot of hellcat owners should have bought because uh i feel like that's that's a better buy i know oh shit i know they're a little bit more expensive but uh i like these way more than than the hellcat stuff this is personal opinion Okay, we got TCB photography. So this would be Tessa. And I guess that's her mom right there. So um, it'd be cool if I could see the car. I can't really tell a whole lot about what's going on. And then, and then we, got the, we got the tag. We got horse. Horse, just horse. All right. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, the the picture is actually pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie, because I I suck at night photography, and I really wish I knew how to do it. But I also don't have a camera. I literally just use a GoPro and my phone. <laughs> that actually is a cool picture. I wouldn't mind having having a picture like that for myself. We got the show. We got the tourist show here. Now you know what? I've actually seen this car beat uh beat some people that uh probably not too happy about losing to a, to, to a Ford Taurus. Um, 
yeah not a whole lot going on still stock appearance for the most part looks like maybe some stuff might be blacked out on here or something see you're at the track you got the got the little 50 54 on here okay all right all right wait what the fuck is this sir i was about to compliment you on your beautiful car because this is gorgeous we got the wide body srt charger and you leave this abomination on your car we're gonna fight next up next up is okay we got a sonata it's not um definitely not your not your grandma's sonata here uh see we got some stuff blacked out that i guess that was chrome at one point that actually looks pretty slick i'm not gonna lie um never seen one of these cars on rims or on wheels actually so that's kind of refreshing even though i think the, the front of these cars do look um very old car looking but i kind of like what you got going on with this i think if you got the door handles wrapped black too i think that that make a big difference next up we have the lumpiest Dodge Viper I've ever seen. Um, I don't know why it looks the way that it does, but it it do, it do be looking lumpy. It do be looking lumpy. Don't know why. I know that I know they're supposed to do that. That's supposed to like resemble the head of like a actual Viper or something. And you know, I, I love these cars. These are actually some of my favorite cars um, out there. But yeah, I know these things are monsters too. I'd love to drive one one day. Stub stubble stubble field what is this I, I don't know what this is it's cool seeing lower trucks because uh you know most of the trucks around here you get the yee -ye boys and they just throw a you know 24 inch lift on it and call it a day but this is kind of cool looks like it's slow it might not be slow i don't know but i like this body style i think i think in a few years this body style is going to be really uh really wanted i think it's going to come around kind of how the c10s did how the c10s just kind of blew up in popularity over the past few years i think that at some point these are these will do the same thing but not not bad not not bad okay there's really nothing bad i can probably ever say about one of these cars because they are so good just straight out the factory that um i can't really say anything bad i did get the opportunity to drive a stock one not gonna lie i was kind of underwhelmed um, I didn't think that, uh, or I, I thought that it would have had more kick to it, but you know, like 90% of these things that you see riding, riding around, they're, they're not stock. <laughs> so yeah, nice car, bro. I'm digging it. I like it. And we got the C6. This is one of my favorite body style Corvettes. I, I like when they got away from the pop-up headlights, even though I love pop-up headlights, but this looks, I, I, I love these cars. I don't know if it's anything special, if it's like a, I don't see a, like a Z06 or anything on here, but a little Corvette, probably an old guy, probably wears calf high white Nike socks and some New Balances. So this is okay. This is all right. See, we got, looks like it's lowered a little bit. We got the VMS wheels. Is that the VMS wheels? Maybe. JMS, VMS, whatever they are. Yeah. But yeah, lo looks good. I think I've actually seen this guy riding around town before. Uh, it's a cool car. Only one problem. You got this going on your car. But other than that, looks 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 nice. Oh, we got another we got another one. Instant deduction right there. But yeah, um, I'm actually digging this a lot. I, I like these wheels a lot. You don't see a ton of these cars with this style wheel on them. Um, definitely looks really good. I'm digging it. And I know this car has a little surprise right around here, and I want to ride in it one day. Okay, so this person, <laughs> this, whoever took this picture, bro, guys, y'all need some damn photography lessons, because this thing looks like it's going straight into outer space, bro. This car is going straight up. Y'all, guys, please, come on. That's, um, I'm not even going to talk about the car. I'm just going to talk about your shitty photography skills. Huh. You know, if I had one of these cars, I would probably also commit insurance fraud. Because there's no way, because I, I, see, I see you got this little feller down here. I don't know if that's factory or if it's, you know, if you got bigger turbo or whatever on this thing. 
But best case scenario, I'm assuming that this was about 300 wheel horsepower and it's front wheel drive. And if you still manage to launch it off into a field, you were probably committing some kind of insurance fraud to get rid of the car and to just go buy a 5.0 or something. This is neat. Is this, what, 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 what is, what is this? Let me ask you this. Why, why do people who go to car shows and stuff do things like this? That's something I've never understood. I don't understand like putting like a skeleton or, you know, some people have like dolls and stuff. They'll set their dolls out like in front of their cars. I've never understood that. I don't, I don't get it. I'm digging the flag. That's a, that's a nice flagpole you got there. It's like a stick you got out of your front yard. But yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot bad I can really say about this car. It's actually, it's super clean. Okay. Okay. So for a Civic, this is not bad. This is not bad. It's pretty clean. It's like all the paint matches for the most part. Um, it's got some decent wheels on it. You're not, you're not running that, that weird camber stuff that people do. I give this one. Oh, what is this? What is this? Do us? Is that what I think it is? Okay, you get a pass. You get a pass. That's that's pretty nice. This is like the the fast or this is the Civic from the Fast and Furious here, like the the Hector and the three black Civics with the spoon engines and the Motec exhaust. This is this is it. Oh boy, this car looks like it's about on its last leg. Oh oh man, she's trying. She's trying to hold on, but she's also kind of like, please just put me out of my misery. Oh, yeah. What? Th that is a massive hood scoop. What is going? What is going on with that? Is that um? Obviously, that's not like the AutoZone ones because the AutoZone ones like are a lot smaller than that. But did you, did you make that? Did you? I don't. I don't know. This one. This one gets like a. Get a four, give it a four out of ten since it's all kind of the same color. Hmm. This guy, I know this guy, I know this guy very well. He gets a zero out of ten. Next up, okay, I'm actually digging this. Um, I'm not a huge like stance guy, but I gotta appreciate it where people actually do it right, and this does look really good. I don't know if this is on bags or coilovers or what, but it's clean. It's clean. That's that's all I can say, really. Okay, so I know I said I don't talk to Infinity Boys, but wait, is it, why does it say Nissan? What the, what the hell is that? It's not a Nissan, bro. Okay, but yeah, um, it's cool to see guys actually take these to the track. I just really hate seeing the the people that drive around Memphis like doing like a buck 40 everywhere and they don't know what the hell they're doing but it's, I, I can appreciate this that's kind of that's kind of cool to see this man is shitting on everybody right now good god oh my god look at look at the look at the crinkle just mm, look at that crinkle yeah you got about you got about a foot and a half off the ground right here this is awesome this car is also probably worth more than my house okay we got a car that looks like it's um just regular traffic that you know you would see we got the old two valve here i feel like there's something special with this car like it's not actually a two valve anymore um not sure why i feel that way but i do i'm digging the wheels is even though these are like the most like common wheels that you see on these like the cobra type wheels but they do go really well with it this thing needs to be lowered more i would say but other than that um really not too bad it's, it's really clean it's really clean like i said you don't see sn95s out here that are all clean and have like matching paint or non-faded paint or anything like that i've got a soft spot for these cars because I, I used to have one oh boy okay this looks like somebody who went to a tote the note lot and um uh, they wanted a truck and this is what they left with yeah neat more stock traffic gt350 these cars are really cool these are track monsters i know like if you're uh you know if you pull up to one of these things on the highway and you have like a 
like a 10 speed like 5.0 or something you're probably gonna shit on it in a straight line but boy take this thing to some curvy roads and it will eat you alive you're gonna be out here you're gonna be out here in the woods while this car is just zooming past you and laughing at you because your car can't handle it okay i cannot say anything bad about this car because this is super clean even though your editing could use some skills <laughs> like, like come on man you can, you can do better than that but um oh i do have one negative thing i see you have the auto zone filter you got the specter filter up in here come on man get your k&n or something you can you can do better than that if you can afford a car like this you can afford a damn k&n air filter my boy my boy my boy here has the supra that nobody wants but i still kind of want one it's got the pop-up headlights i'm digging that but yep i'm excited to see what you do with this car man because I, I i know you so you're also my new neighbor so so hi neighbor okay we got a mustang don't know if it's debadged might be an eco boost or a v6 but we have some uh whole ass ceiling fans for wheels so i guess that's refreshing in a way to see because you don't really see that too often but um you know, it looks like if you got this thing spinning fast enough, you know, you could throw like some salami in it or something and it'll slice it up for you real fine. Yeah, that's uh, cool. This looks a lot like my old two valve. Oh man, I'm, I miss it. I miss it. This car, this car, I, I, I got a feeling that this car is not what a lot of people think it is. Looks, looks nice. That looks really nice, man. I'm digging that. Who took this picture? Like, I just thought that I needed... Con like, I have perfect vision, bro. And I just thought that I needed glasses for a second. I thought I just went blind. What is going on, bro? Come on. Okay. We got, we got the... Uh, got the charger. Not too bad. Not too bad. It looks pretty clean. Doesn't look all clapped out. Except for the curves that you've taken out down here. But other than that, looks pretty good. I would, um, I would say you need to lower it, but obviously you probably don't because then your whole front bumper would be gone. Oh boy. Cool, son. Yeah, this, this, that's what I'm talking about. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm a Ford guy, guys, but God, these Vipers. I am, God, I got a boner. Okay, so I asked for pictures of cars, and I get a Willwood brake, some aftermarket wheel, and a slotted rotor, and part of a bumper, and some quarter panels. Cool car, bro. Yeah, I wish you didn't wreck your other car. Got the, got the GTR here, looking pretty dope, looking fresh. Got some meat on here. I'm digging the wheels. The wheels look, uh, these are actually really similar to the wheels that I have. So I, I like those. I like the concave. Yours concave way more than mine. And I, I'm, I'm digging that look. Looks good. We got the Z boy here. We got the Z boy with the blacked out car. And it, you know, that, that trend's kind of been dead for like, like five or 10 years, but I mean, it's cool. You know, I mean, it's your car, do what you want, but, um, we got the huge wing that, you know, probably doesn't actually do anything. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's it, honestly, honestly, it's not a really, it's not a bad looking car. I, I can kind of dig it. What the hell is this, bro? What in the actual fuck is going on here? Um, it looks like it's really well done. It seems like it probably cost a ton of money to do, in which case I would probably never attempt something like this but you know what you get a 10 out of 10 on creativity that's for sure um yeah that's uh that's different it's very different get out oh boy we got the typhoon the gmc typhoon here this is a bad little bitch right here um you know the, the the history behind these things are really cool with the little like super truck wars of like the 90s and stuff you know they didn't make a whole lot of these but what they did you know now i mean they're they're damn near worth their weight in gold these things are really really cool if you don't know what the gmc typhoons or the uh cyclones are you should definitely look them up okay we got a we got a beamer boy 
here. What? What is this? Did you lose your car, bro? Did you go? Did you go off? Or is that? Is that supposed to? I don't know if that's supposed to look like that or if um. Okay. But yeah, it's cool to see a BMW that's not just, you know, not using their turn signals on the highway or something. You see one actually a place where you're not supposed to use turn signals. So good on you for finding where you belong. That's cool. Dope. That's dope. Um, you could probably destroy any car that I've shown up until this point with this. So you get it. You get an A for that. Got the Trans Am. This is the, this is kind of like the, to, to me, it's kind of the redneck special. You know, you get the, get the Trans Am, you know, with the T-tops, you know. But um, I've seen a lot of these cars that are really fast and that are really well put together. So anyway, I, I like that. That's, that's a cool car. Okay, we got another Civi Boy with a, we got a little intercooler on here. Soon you got a little turbo, a little turb ski action. Looks like the side of this car met a, field of trees at one point but it's cool it's cool at least it's modified at least you got a little turbo on it all that good stuff this is perfection i literally can't say anything bad about this <laughs> that's super nice car bro really really nice i am really appreciating the utility of this car right now you know, granted, you know, it's not something I would probably ever buy or ever drive, but the color's kind of cool. It's like grabber blue for the Mustang. And, you know, man's got a whole ass kayak on top of this thing. So I'm digging it. I bet this thing is faster though. Next up. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. We got the, we got the Evo. We got the Evo. Um, this car is actually on my channel in, in one of my videos. Uh, this is a, this is a bad, this is a bad little car. Um, really have nothing to say. I know there's a ton of work that's been put into this car. A lot of time, a lot of money. And, uh, again, really don't have nothing bad to say about it. Cause there really is nothing bad to say about it. Got another charger here. I'm digging the color. It looks pretty stock. Well, um, a little bit less loud than, uh, some of the other chargers that I've seen on here. So I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. Why did you post this? Get the fuck off of my channel. All right, this, I'm very confused. Um, I don't really know what's going on. Is this a is this an Acura that they put the Honda badge on to make it look like a Type R? Or is it actually an RSX Type S? Or I don't know what's going on here. But I, I see you can you can fit a watermelon in, the, in those fender wells. But other than that, yeah, not, not, not bad, not bad. Paint looks good looks good other than just me being very confused i don't even know what this is okay we got another one of these boys that i said i don't talk to but i'll talk to you again that's nice i'm digging that this is actually really cool i'm digging this a lot i like i like these classic classic cars and trucks and suvs and stuff like this this looks like it'd be a blast to drive around so this is what happens when you have a twenty thousand dollar budget for a car and you spend five thousand on the car, and you put fifteen thousand dollars aside for the maintenance because you could not get me to buy one of like an old Porsche or something, bro. You got some deeper pockets than me. That's all I know to say. But other than that, I mean the car the car looks good. The car looks clean.